Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another diecast review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Tarmac Works 164 scale 2021 Global 64 Green Metallic Land Rover Defender 110. Now I picked mine up from my friends over at Surplus Goodies. Click the link in the description of this video to head to their eBay store. It is still currently available through Surplus Goodies uh, online eBay store. All right, before we get to the die cast itself, let's take a look at the packaging. It comes in your current style Global 64 uh, packaging, which is collector-friendly clamshell, which I love. We do have the art render of the Land Rover Defender 110 right there. Tarmac Works Global 64. We do have Land Rover Defender 110 there. Got the Defender in the bubble. And, of course, your cardboard uh, container, which obviously... It's just for show because the actual model will not fit in there. So that's kind of unfortunate. Back of the packaging, we have small size, big heart, same artwork on the back. Scale model 164, Tarmac Works, Tarmac for the good. Obviously, one Hong Kong dollar per car goes to Tarmac for the good. Be sure to visit TarmacWorks.com, Facebook at Tarmac Works and Instagram at Tarmac.Works. So that is the packaging. What I'm going to do now is pause the video. When we get back, we'll take a closer look at the awesome, all new Land Rover Defender 110 in metallic green by Tarmac Works in more detail. Stay tuned. Be right back. All right, got the Land Rover Defender 110 out of its packaging. And I'd have to say, this is a winner for Tarmac Works. Uh, the details on this thing are absolutely fantastic. If you're wondering, there is a Land Rover Defender 90, which is a Hong Kong exclusive, which I believe Surplus Goodies may also still have some of those as well. But we'll start off here. We have all these nice little intake louvers over the wheel arches on the hood there. Got Land Rover, or just 110, in the matte black graphics on the hood there. That looks fantastic. Got Defender at the edge of the uh, hood there. Inserted details for your headlights, got the push bar on the front, got all that nice silver detailing on either side of the push bar as well as the bottom, so that looks fantastic. Got white wheels, which I think work well with this color uh, car. Got the little snorkel going up the A-post right there as well. Now the mirrors, might want to be, they're, they're like mini GT where they're, you know, you can see their there's flex in them, but they're a little stiffer than a Mini GT one, so be careful on that. It does have molded in uh, windshield wipers at the bottom of the edge of the uh, front windshield there. That snorkel, it's good on mine. As you can see, there's no gap between the A-post and the snorkel there. But I've seen some where there is a little bit of a gap, so be mindful of that so you don't actually snap it off. Up on the roof of the vehicle, we do have this awesome roof rack, which on mine, there is no movement, which I've seen on some that it isn't secure and it moves, but mine, there's no rocking or anything on it. The interior, nothing really to see there. It's all black molded plastic. Got body color matching uh, door handles. The steps on the side are black with silver steps, which look fantastic. Now this is all premium, so you got rubber tires, metal body, metal chassis, which you can see there is screw, all uh, two screw construction. So that's really nice. We do have your uh, fold down uh, ladder there, right here, which clearly, obviously, does not function. Back on the back, we have Defender on the spare tire tire cover. Painted details for your tail lights. Door handle is still matching color. Land Rover on the number plate below the spare tire cover. Got Land Rover Defender right below the door handle right there Land Rover on the right side of the rear door there of course as I said defender on the tire cover got an antenna up on the roof as well right there you got your cargo carrier which it's hard to see but there is a little Land Rover defender uh, logo right in the middle of that cargo carry case got your molded in line uh, fuel door once again there is a closer look at your wheels and tires this is a 10 out of 10 if not a 10 out of 10 maybe a nine and a half out of 9.5 out of 10 we do have painted details for your side mirrors which are phenomenal as well 
Got some detailing here on the side of the fenders. Little intakes and everything. Mud flaps are plastic. I think they are molded to the actual chassis. No, I think they're actually a separate piece. So the plastic, so I think they're part of the side skirt here of the vehicle. So be careful of that. It's a plastic part. I don't think you'd want to break that off. So overall, solid little release from Tarmac Works. Once again, this was my review of the all-new Global 64 Land Rover Defender 110 in green metallic from Tarmac Works that I picked up for my friends over at Surplus Goodies. At the time of recording this review, it is still available. They have more than 10 available per what their eBay site says. So yeah, check out the link in the video description below if you'd like to add this awesome new release from Tarmac Works to your collection. If you enjoyed this review, get a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week. So be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAStrain69. See you next time for an all new diecast review. Bye.